A family with a household income of $50,000 pays around $1,800 in state income tax. What if you were able to keep that money to spend instead of giving it to the state? Well, that's the goal of a bill about to be introduced in the legislature that would gradually eliminate the state income tax. Fox 47's Christopher Lane hears from both sides and tells us how long it could take and why critics say it would be a disaster. A lower income tax seems like a great idea to some. More money in my pocket would be nice. And it could be possible if legislation House Republicans plan to introduce Thursday is passed. And this is about providing much related tax relief for the families, seniors, and hardworking taxpayers across our state and allowing them to keep more of their hard earned dollars. If passed, the bill will cut the income tax to 3.9% and then drop it by one tenth of a percent every year until it's eliminated. The bill's sponsor, Representative Lee Chatfield, says with a budget surplus, now is the time to do it. But critics of the legislation don't agree. Gilda Jacobs of the Michigan League for Public Policy says getting rid of the income tax will leave a devastating $9 billion hole in the state budget. We don't believe that this is a very good idea for the state's fiscal health. House Republicans say we'll make up for the deficit through increased sales tax revenue as people spend the extra money they'd have without an income tax. Jacobs doesn't think the math works out. The income tax pays for something like 70% of the general fund. You have to find some way to replace some of those dollars. That could mean an increased sales tax or another hike in gas tax, which isn't something people are excited about. Well, they're going to find another way to like get that money back. And whether it's getting more money back in a paycheck or spending less at the store, people like Dominic Lepak tell me they just want what's best for the state. In Lansing, Christopher Lane, Fox 47 News is expected to be introduced in the state house today. We'll let you know if it comes up for a vote.